I would say this uh, wave have, has been, uh, 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 if I would say, brutal. January was one of Quebec's deadliest months of the pandemic, with over 1,500 people losing their lives to the virus amid the fifth wave, more than 13,400 since the pandemic began. Now, as hospitalizations decline in the province, the rate of deaths during this wave compared to others has been unprecedented, even if Omicron is considered less severe. From a, a variant that was supposed to be more in, uh, less innocuous or less dangerous, uh, we saw the contrary. We saw people very sick um, and uh, responding more or less in the same way as uh, other uh, what we've seen with other variants. So uh, on the contrary, we were up to two weeks ago, we had several wards that were full. We've been trying to spread as much knowledge as possible and share our information. And you know, it's always the people's right to choose what they want to do with their bodies. But seeing people die um, when they could have been uh, avoided was hard. As of February 3rd, the average rate of new deaths in the previous seven days was 5.4 out of a million, just under Italy at 6 and the U.S. at 7.4. The increase in deaths uh, was a bit shocking. Um, but... You know, it, just like the first wave, this was something new again. Several experts believe this could have been avoided if there was a faster rollout of booster shots. I agree with the fact that a booster was essential. Hospitalizations in January hit an all-time high in Quebec, seeing some days with over 3,500 patients, even as 90% of Quebecers have at least one COVID-19 vaccine and was the worst it's ever been for children under five, with more young kids hospitalized during the fifth wave than during the four previous waves combined. But health officials say at times they are being admitted with other ailments and test positive for COVID when brought into the ER. Initially, the, the, in Quebec, we saw elderly people uh, coming from uh, uh, nursing homes, uh, and then that uh, that uh, sort of died down. Uh, and now we've seen uh, a variety of people who. Uh, we're not vaccinated. Some healthcare workers pointing fingers at the government, saying the current system is what led to the current situation. Did I see a difference between the first wave and the fifth wave? Really? No. And the reason for that is because um, we as a society and our, our leaders have not made the necessary changes in our healthcare infrastructure. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.